Picture this, a massive spacecraft screaming through Earth's atmosphere at thousands of miles per hour, glowing white hot like a meteor. But instead of burning up completely, it survives and lands safely, ready to fly again. This isn't science fiction anymore. This is SpaceX's Starship, and today we're diving deep into the revolutionary heat shield technology that's making rapid reusability possible for the first time in spaceflight history. What you're about to learn will blow your mind. We're talking about ceramic tiles that glow blue, spacecraft that literally sweat coolant, and engineering challenges that have stumped rocket scientists for decades. So buckle up, because we're about to explore the cutting-edge science behind Starship's thermal protection system. Let's start with the basics. When any spacecraft returns from space, it's essentially becoming a blazing fireball hurtling through our atmosphere at incredible speeds. We're talking about temperatures that can reach over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt copper, aluminum, and most metals you can think of. For decades, the solution has been simple but wasteful. Sacrifice the heat shield. Most thermal protection systems are designed to burn away, carrying heat with them as they disintegrate. It works, but it means you need a brand new heat shield for every single flight. Imagine if your car's tires dissolved every time you drove somewhere. That's essentially what we've been doing with spacecraft. But SpaceX looked at this problem and said, what if we don't have to throw everything away? What if we could build a heat shield so tough, so smart, that it not only protects the vehicle, but protects itself? That's the holy grail of reusable spaceflight, and it's exactly what they're trying to achieve with Starship. The challenge is enormous. These heat shield tiles have to survive temperatures that would vaporize most materials, handle massive vibrations during launch, deal with extreme temperature swings from super cold fuel to blazing re-entry heat, and do it all over and over again without falling apart. Now, SpaceX didn't start from scratch. They're smart engineers, and smart engineers study what came before. So they looked closely at NASA's space shuttle program, which flew for 30 years and taught us an enormous amount about reusable spacecraft. The space shuttle had an incredible heat shield made of thousands of ceramic tiles. In many ways, it was a marvel of engineering, but it had one fatal flaw. It wasn't truly reusable. After every single flight, many tiles would crack or even fall off completely. There were some terrifying close calls where tiles came loose during flight, though thankfully not in critical areas. Because of this fragility, every shuttle had to undergo months of refurbishment after each mission. We're talking eight to nine months of intensive inspection and repair work. Many tiles were custom made for specific locations, which made the whole process incredibly time consuming and expensive. This slow turnaround was one of the main reasons the shuttle program ultimately wasn't sustainable. But here's what SpaceX learned from the shuttle's successes. The material science was actually pretty good. Starship's tiles use materials very similar to the advanced tiles the shuttle used in its later years, called AETB with TUFI coating. TUFI stands for Toughened Unipiece Fibrous Insulation. It's a more durable coating designed to handle impacts better and resist water damage. When researchers have analyzed Starship's tiles, they found materials like silica, aluminum borosilicate, and aluminum oxide. The black coating helps block infrared heat, while the fibrous material underneath handles those extreme re-entry temperatures. And here's a cool detail during Starship's re-entry, you can actually see a blue glow around the vehicle. That blue color comes from borosilicate in the tiles burning at high temperatures. Borosilicate is a special type of glass that doesn't expand or crack easily when heated rapidly, making it perfect for this application. So SpaceX took the good parts of shuttle technology and completely reimagined the bad parts. Instead of thousands of custom tiles, Starship uses approximately 18,500 heat shield tiles. But here's the genius part, most of them are standardized in a hexagonal shape. Think about it like building blocks. Instead of having thousands of unique puzzle pieces that only fit in one specific spot, you have mostly identical hexagonal tiles that interlock with each other. This makes them much easier to produce, install, and replace. It's like the difference between a custom jigsaw puzzle and a honeycomb pattern. This interlocking system dramatically reduces the time needed between flights. The tiles are arranged in a consistent pattern across most of the vehicle's body. 
As the spacecraft narrows near the nose cone and control flaps, the tiles gradually become smaller and thinner, but they maintain that same hexagonal pattern and tile count. This creates smooth coverage across the entire surface while keeping the design efficient and maintainable. But SpaceX didn't stop there. Starting with Starship's fifth test flight, they added something completely new, a backup ablet of heat shield underneath the main ceramic tiles. This is still used on the newer Block 2 version of the vehicle. The concept is brilliantly simple. If any ceramic tiles fall off before re-entry, this backup layer will help protect the spacecraft by burning away during re-entry, carrying heat with it. Unlike the main tiles, which are designed to be reusable, this ablet of material is meant to be used only once. Under normal circumstances, this backup layer shouldn't activate at all. It's purely a safety net. These ablative sheets are applied in small sections and placed in the most critical areas, the nose cone, fuel tanks, payload bay, engine skirt, and control flaps. It gives Starship an extra level of protection if something goes wrong with the main heat shield during re-entry. Now, here's where things get really challenging. Even though Starship's heat shield tiles are designed to handle extreme temperatures, they're not likely to be fully reusable just yet. And the reason comes down to a fundamental problem with ceramic materials. Ceramics are incredible at resisting heat, but they're also quite fragile. They can crack, and they're affected by temperature changes, expanding when hot and contracting when cold. Over multiple flights, that constant thermal stress can cause tiles to wear down or break. Elon Musk has compared these tiles to dinner plates or coffee cups. Now imagine those thin, brittle ceramic plates having to stay attached to a rocket through the massive vibrations of launch. If you've ever watched a Starship test flight, you can feel the ground shaking from kilometers away. Those delicate tiles have to survive all that without falling off or cracking. But it gets even trickier. The tiles have to be attached in a way that allows the structure underneath to move. Here's why the fuel tanks inside Starship hold super cold cryogenic propellant, which causes the metal to shrink when the tanks are filled. Then during re-entry, the entire structure heats up and expands dramatically. This means the gaps between the rigid tiles are constantly changing. In some parts of the vehicle, especially near those cryogenic tanks, this movement can cause a 10 to 20% change in the spacing between tiles. That's enormous from an engineering perspective. There's also body flex during flight, especially when the engine's gimbal to steer the spacecraft. This adds even more movement to deal with. You can't just press the tiles tightly against each other because they'll either crack from the stress or pop off entirely. The design has to allow just the right amount of room for expansion, contraction, and structural bending. Get it wrong, and the heat shield fails catastrophically. Making a fully reusable heat shield is one of the most difficult challenges in aerospace engineering. It's a problem that has never been completely solved before, and SpaceX is essentially trying to crack the code of material science itself. The goal is to create an incredibly fine weave of glass and aluminum oxide fibers. And here's a mind-blowing detail. Aluminum oxide is basically the same material as sapphire. So we're talking about a combination of glass and sapphire-like fibers arranged in a very precise, almost molecular structure. To make this work, you need special coatings applied to the tiles, and everything has to be manufactured to extremely tight tolerances. The geometry has to be perfect. Getting this right is what allows the heat shield tiles to survive re-entry and actually be reused multiple times. SpaceX is constantly working to improve this system. They're always tweaking the materials, trying to find that perfect combination, the right molecules in the right shapes, arranged in exactly the right way. Then they have to apply those tiles to the rocket with extreme precision. There's absolutely no room for error. The challenge was so specific that no existing supplier could provide exactly what SpaceX needed. So they made a bold decision, complete vertical integration. They now manufacture the heat shield tiles entirely in-house, giving them total control over every aspect of the process to ensure the tiles meet all their requirements for reusability and performance. But here's where SpaceX's thinking gets really wild. Making ceramic tiles more durable is one approach. But what if you could eliminate the tiles entirely? Back in late 2018 and early 2019, 
Elon Musk revealed on Twitter that SpaceX was developing something completely different, an advanced metal heat shield. The concept is called transpiration cooling, and it's absolutely fascinating. Imagine if the spacecraft could literally sweat coolant through tiny holes in its outer surface. That's exactly what this system does. Here's the science. Gases are terrible at conducting heat, which actually makes them excellent insulators. It's the same reason puffer jackets keep you warm. The trapped air acts as a barrier preventing heat transfer. Transpiration cooling flips this concept. Instead of keeping heat in, you're keeping heat out. The outer layer of the spacecraft would be made from a porous material, like a microscopic sponge. Inside, pressurized methane gas slowly seeps out through millions of tiny pores, creating a protective gas layer around the entire vehicle. As long as the gas keeps flowing, it maintains that thermal barrier. The spacecraft is essentially sweating its way through re-entry. The advantages are compelling. Once the mission is over, you just refill the gas tanks, and the vehicle could be ready to fly again almost immediately. No tile inspection, no repairs, no months of refurbishment. But there are serious downsides too. Transpiration cooling systems are typically much heavier than ceramic tiles, because you have to carry all that coolant gas on board. You'd probably want to carry extra for safety margins, adding even more weight. The system also requires complex plumbing, valves, control systems, and that specialized porous heat shield material, all of which increases complexity and potential failure points. Because of these trade-offs, Elon Musk has expressed skepticism about whether transpiration cooling is worth it for Starship operations on Earth. But here's where things get really interesting, Mars. Starship needs a heat shield that can handle not just Earth's atmosphere, but also the unique challenges of entering Mars' atmosphere. You might think Mars would be easier since its atmosphere is thinner, but Elon Musk has explained that it's actually more demanding. Mars' atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, and when that CO2 gets superheated during atmospheric entry, it breaks apart into plasma, releasing free oxygen. Surprisingly, this creates roughly two to three times more reactive oxygen exposure than Earth's atmosphere, which is only about 20% oxygen. This reactive oxygen aggressively tries to oxidize and burn through the heat shield material. The solution might require the best of both worlds, using transpiration cooled metal tiles in the hottest, most demanding areas while relying on conventional ceramic tiles elsewhere to balance performance, weight, and complexity. SpaceX's approach to heat shield technology represents a fundamental shift in how we think about reusable spacecraft. By combining lessons learned from the space shuttle, innovative material science, standardized manufacturing, and revolutionary cooling concepts, they're tackling one of the hardest problems in aerospace engineering. The ultimate goal isn't just surviving re-entry. It's creating a spacecraft that can fly to orbit, return safely, and be ready to fly again in days or weeks, not months. That's the key to making space travel affordable and routine. We're witnessing the birth of truly reusable spacecraft, and the heat shield technology powering this revolution will determine whether humanity becomes a spacefaring civilization. The future of space exploration is literally riding on these ceramic tiles and the brilliant engineering behind them.